Hi, I'm Ramonda Catrea with www.breakhousetalk.com. And today I'm here with a very, another very special guest. This young lady, we recently featured her on the website because she is a phenomenal, extravagant, Oh uh, God, I can't even think of all the words I can call her, but she is a very beautiful person. And I just want to say before introducing her is that her article received so many hits. She's loved by many and is, you know, obvious because of all that she's done in her life. And I am so happy to have with me Mikhail Terrell. How are you today, Mikhail? I'm fine. How are you? I am ecstatic right now because, again, as I mentioned, your article received so many hits. You have so many family members, not only in California, but I think it was Atlanta and all over sending messages commending you on your success. How does that feel? It feels wonderful to know that distance doesn't mean anything. You're still loved. Absolutely, and you're definitely loved. So for the guests that didn't have the opportunity to read the article that was written about you on the website, can you share with them um, a little bit, give them a little history about Mikkel? Well, I'm a 25-year-old single parent. I am a part-time worker and part-time student. Right now, I'm currently enrolled at the San Francisco Institute of Aesthetics and Cosmetology. I'm in the cosmetology program. Um, I work at Macy's as a merchandiser, and I've been on my job for about four years now. Okay, so let's, let's take it back a little bit. So cosmetology has always been in your blood. You've always loved doing hair. Since you were a little girl, you were practicing on your family's hair rather than a doll like how I, I did it when I was growing up. You actually had family members in which you learned how to braid hair and everything, right? Correct. And from then on, you just knew right then and there that that's what you wanted to do. Well, when I graduated from high school, my first response is, I'm not going to be on my feet the rest of my life. And sometimes you can't run away from your calling, so. So it just brought you back regardless, though. So. But you did take a little detour, right? You went to another profession, you right? I had a pharmacy tech registration, and I hated it. School was wonderful, but it wasn't the job for me. Mikkel, I find your story really unique because um, as a young adult, you know, in school and everything, you didn't get dis discouraged. You know, you kept moving on and following your dream, even though you started, you know, you went to school for the pharmacy technician, and then you started working at Macy's, which was ideal because that's in fashion as well, but you didn't give up. And I remember you said you had a revelation. You were out with someone and you were attending school with them. They were registering or something of that nature. Can you ex talk about that? I was going on a tour with my friend. She was scared to go by herself. So I went with her and I just fell in love with the school. Okay, and there's another thing. See, this, you guys have to go back and read the article because there was another thing that transpired in your life and it was a unique thing. It was something you wasn't ready for, but it happened. And that was the blessing that God gave you your baby boy, right? Correct. In October 2008, I gave birth. Okay. So that tells you a lot, you know, for those that are out there that, you know, life does throw us different obstacles, but you can't get discouraged and you can't give up. Michael is a true testament that, you know, dreams are there for you and you cannot stop. You got to keep pushing. And what can you tell young women as yourself, you know, that still, you know, have that, oh, I wish I would have done this and I wish I could have done that. What do you, what can you, advice can you give them? To just to never give up. I mean, no matter how hard it may seem, you can't give up because life is about, you know, pushing on. You can't just let stuff go because if you give up, you're not going to get nowhere. And so what was one of the hardest obstacles that you've had since trying to pursue your career? I would say my job. I've changed schedules numerous of times and I had to quit school twice, but for the most part, I just kept going back. You also mentioned um, that not only did God, did God bless you with your baby boy, but there was someone else that he sent special to you in your life to help you during those times. I had an ex-boyfriend who stepped in and took responsibility for my son. Well, Brickhouse Talk, we commend that gentleman, whoever you are, for stepping up to the plate and being there for her. And that's one thing I want to say about the website. We're so real, and we want to reach out and show stories of people that are just like us, you know, the ones that we don't hear about. And you are a prime example of that, and I'm so proud of you. So what should we expect from you in the future? What are you working on? Any big fashion shows, any big hair shows, or anything that you have in the future? Well, I stepped away kind of from the fashion shows while I'm going to school, because it was getting kind of hectic between school and work. But when I'm finished with school, the cosmetology program, I will be going back to school for visual communications, 
So I eventually want to do fashion show production. Wow, that is beautiful. And I, I can just see it all over you. I, I can see the success, the prosperity all over you. And I know you're going to do really, really well. And I'm so honored to actually really to be sitting here with you. And I, I hope that you would keep in contact with us because we definitely want to follow you and, you know, give our viewers an update. And I know your family, everybody that wrote in would like to, you know, see you to read about you and your success as well. So when actually is the big day? When do you finish school? Right now, my graduation date is set for the end of August. But I have a goal to try to be finished with school no later than the end of June. Now, I'm checking out the hair and everything in the, the attire. So can somebody get hooked up? You know, like how would somebody want you, if they wanted to, for you to do their hair and makeup, you know, proms coming up for the high school kids and everything, are you available for that? I'm always available. I'm available on Sundays and Mondays and Saturday evenings. And we will have her information for you. So if you're interested, definitely reach out to her. I know you can do hair, and I know you can put together a mean wardrobe, and we're going to see that before we end the interview. Tell me something else unique and special about you. I have a music fetish, but I don't sing. <laughs> that I don't. No? Not even in the shower? Well, in the shower and when I'm driving. <laughs> so uh, who's your, what artist do you like a lot? I'm a big fan of Monica and Fantasia. I love those two as well. And what's your favorite song from either one of those artists? Monica is Get Away. It, it just tells a story like pretty much, like I said, no matter what you go through, you can't give up. Absolutely. That is beautiful. So what about sports? You know, Brickhouse Talk, we're a sports website as well. So what, basketball, football, do you like any of those sports? Well, baseball and softball runs in my family, but I never picked up the bat. No. <laughs> I picked up the tennis racket for like two years in high school, but I'm not, not a big fan of sports. Oh, okay, so we have to change that. We're going to work on her. <laughs> not that you need me to tell you this, but I just want to say to you that I am very impressed with you. I think that you are a very beautiful, confident woman and that you know what you want. You are a epitome of a brick house. And I don't know if you read what my meaning of a brick house is, but I see it right before me. And again, I am so elated to have this opportunity to speak with you. This is genuine, really it is. And I to have to have someone that's basically like me, you know, I we had this vision, we thought about it, we wrote it down and everything, and we pursued it because life is not going to, you know, what you want in life is not going to come to you. You have to go and get it. And you are a true testament to that. So I know you had a lot of people supporting you. So is there anyone that you want to give special acknowledgments to at this time? My grandmother. Like, she's my backbone. Tell your grandmother. What do you want to tell her? I just want to tell her that it's like, I'm not really a touchy person and I don't really express myself, but I don't know where I would be without her. Like, and I really, truly, like, love you for everything that you've ever done for me. Oh, my. And I feel that. And I know that's sincere, and I don't want to get all choked up, but that's beautiful. And I know how special grandmothers are. And um, I know she's very proud of you, along with your aunts and all your friends from the school that all, you know, wrote in and, you know, sent congratulations to you as well. So I just want to hug. <laughs> You guys, you will have no idea how I have butchered her name so many times. She has a beautiful name, but I keep wanting to call her something else. Can you say it's Michael is her name? And where did you get that name from? My dad name is Michael, and my mom name is Michelle. A very beautiful name. And your son name is? Michael. Beautiful. So, Michael, now let's get to the good stuff. Michael has a model here today, and she's going to model hair in the latest fashion right now? Correct. Okay, so let's see it. So we're here with the very lovely model, and what's your name? My name is Nikki. Hi, Nikki. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay, first thing I want to say is the lips. You guys, I love it. Is that the new summer, fall, I mean spring look? Yes, it actually is. It's actually more so on the East Coast, and lately I've been rocking them, and a lot of people have been asking about them. But. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it's a conversation piece as well. I love it. And the glasses and everything that match. So let's talk about your model here today. What, what, what is she wearing and the look that she has right now? Well, she just has the casual look pretty much. Everyone's rocking the blazers now. Mm -hmm. Everyone has a wife beater. Yeah. Hold on. It can be dressed up or dressed down. And as far as her lens 
clear lenses than they look now. Every basketball player had it on at the All-Star game. Did you see it? I mean, they all had the clear lens. Really nice. Yes, it's a new thing. And we just went ahead and accessorized it with it and added the color lip with it. And there you go. So she's pink and orange all the way down. I love it. Do you like your look? I do love it. Can you walk out and let come up a little bit so they can see what you have on? Just, you know, do the model thing. I know you know how to model. Pose. Okay, and the hair. So I noticed she has like a China bangs hair and the curl on the ends. Well, she has like a little beachy wave curl at the end. Nothing special. China bangs. Just a pretty much everyday look. It can be straightened out or it can work, be worn curly. So this is a look that they're wearing here in, on the West Coast and East Coast right now? The color lip is mostly on the East Coast. The China bang, as you know, Nicki Minaj rocks that. So everyone's turned into a Barbie, but we weren't going for the Barbie look, you know. <laughs> so we just, it's just an everyday look. Like I said, she can wear it straight or she can wear it curly, so. You look great. I love it. I love it. I do. But we have to get the shoes. Can you, can you, can you raise up your foot so they can see the shoes? Now, how many inches is that? I would say it's about three, about three and a half. Three? Are they comfortable? To me, they are. I wear heels a lot, so. Really? Now, we got, we got to miss your shoes, too, now. Uh, pick, <laughs> yes. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Amazing. That is really, really amazing. I love, I love your look, too. Did you see? Look, fashion. <laughs> you have to model, too. <laughs> Come on, walk it. <laughs> Very nice, very nice. Mikhail, it is a pleasure meeting you, and it's a pleasure for you to come here and be the model for her. I really appreciate it. Is there anything else you want to say before we end, end the interview? I want to thank you guys for actually having me and giving me the chance to network and be on your website, and I look forward to working with you guys in the future. Absolutely. Thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you, your name in big bright lights. Keep in contact with us as we want to definitely give updates to our viewers. And uh, again, it's a pleasure. You look great, girl. I love it. I want the glasses. <laughs> this is Ramonda Contreras with www.brickhousetalk.com.